now, back to We're closing in on now, come take a look, woohoo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Coming in from our overnight sail from Magnetic Island, we were excited to catch up with friends in the Whitsundays. Uh, pretty good. We've got a bit of wind against tide here, it's all really pumped up and you know, your boat speed's really good but the you know, speed over ground's terrible. And, uh, I think that we're starting to get a little bit of um, a little bit of this surge sort of pressing against the island and it's making the waves quite sort of steep. Anyway, I'm getting a bit of a workout on the old hell. Yeah, man. Uh, anyway. Are you put by the end of this? Well, we've really only got a couple more miles and uh, we'll get around the corner and it'll we'll probably go nice and calm. I'm sort of tipping. Yes. So, yes. No, no, beautiful. place called Saba Bay. We've arrived back in the Whit Sundays and we've been hanging out with some friends of ours for the last couple of days, uh, catching up with them and having a pretty groovy time. And uh, yeah, we've been hiding away from these nor'westers. We've been getting sort of uh, in the high 25s to 30s and uh, yesterday we were sailing we were getting gusts of 38s and 40s so that was pretty exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, the anchorage here is really, it's uh, windy of course, but it's lovely and sheltered here in a northwest. Although I would say uh, don't drop a pick in here. There's a lot of gunk on the bottom and uh, you can get tra trapped. So I'd, uh, if you don't get one of the three moorings that's here, I'd go and find anchorage somewhere else. You don't want to lose your anchor chain and anchor gear out here. So yeah, beautiful day and we're going to have to head back into Ely to uh, provision and, uh, and uh, get some stuff done. So we're going to take off today. Hopefully we might have a bit of a race with these guys. That'll be good fun. Saba Bay sits on the northeast side of Hook Island. Well protected from northerly winds, the bay offers good snorkeling and super beach combing. We hung out with our friends on board and we're now ready to race each other back to Airlie Beach. Trouble with our reefing line this morning. That doesn't win races. <laughs> Righty, I go. Okay, so our friends are about three nautical miles ahead of us. They've just gone through the passage, through the hook passage, and we'll see if we can catch them. I was actually hoping it was going to be blowing a bit. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we put two reefs in, but anyway, yeah. we wanted to knock them out when we get in the passage. Yeah, anyway, we'll see what happens. It's pretty nice anyway, we're, we're going pretty good. Pretty good. All right along, we're not even trying. Okay, so just behind me you'll see Hook Passage and uh, we're going to hook through that and then go out uh, through the channel and um, luckily the tide is coming with us so we've got an incoming tide. It can get a lot of water pressing through that passage so if you've got wind against tide it can get quite mucky in there. And uh, yesterday we came through, we, almost, we were hove to a couple of times, the, uh, the gusty nor'westers just had us swirling around and really battling so uh, it was pretty funny a lot of fun but yeah it should be smooth sailing through here this morning the wind does in this channel. I think we've caught up a mile by now. We're gonna catch him, we're gonna catch him. <laughs> Yeah, we're at the uh, crucial point in this uh, hook passage and we were going all right. We had four knots of current against us and we've run out of breeze and now looking at the looking at the island, we're actually going backwards at 1.3 knots. <laughs> yeah, motor on I'll just show you what happens in this passage it can be a little bit tricky here you can see our track showing the current pushing us backwards so we motored on briefly to avoid being thrown back out the way we'd come back into racing mode and it was time to sheet on the heady and continue to hunt down the good ship horizon The winds were being fickle in the channel so we played the sheet lines to gain speed when we could. Yeah, so the winds come forward of the beam a little bit. Still not blowing as hard as I thought, we just we just took a couple of reefs out. And um, the old horizon cruise, very close on the horizon. <laughs> no, uh, we're gaining on them. We're gonna we'll be all over the top of them, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're racing. We've only got 13 knots from about sort of the northwest, or west northwest, really. So. Uh, yeah, we were hoping for a bit more breeze, but that's okay. Any race is a good race. Absolutely. <laughs> we're still pulling seven knots though, my honey. Not bad for the barbecue division. Not bad for the barbecue division. Determined not to lose way with the fickle breeze, we played the winds to our advantage. Yeah, I'm going to have a grind on that. <laughs> 
I had my three. Hang on a minute. Woof. We need to get fitter. All this detox has made us quite a bit weaker. Oh rubbish. <laughs> it's made me weaker. No, it's not. Woo. Anyway, I can do it. I can do it, my honey. There you go, get on it. Come on. On we go. We need speed. As we marched on, our prey came into sight. As the morning wore on and the breeze kicked in, we kept working Sarian for all that she would give us. We're closing in on now, come take a look, woohoo! <laughs> yeah baby! I felt a tinge of sadness as this would be the last time that we would see these guys until they came to visit us in Madagascar. So we caught them in the end and we were going to anyway. It's a waterline thing but they're awesome sailors. They're great fun if you ever see Horizon. A little Duncanson 35, she's purple. Those guys love a sail. They love a race. They're real fun. They're good sailors. So go say hi and chase them down. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and drop us a comment below. We love to hear from you. And a big warm hearted welcome to our newest patrons, Marissa, Will and Bradley. Welcome to our world. We hope you enjoy our Patreon platform. Yeah, thanks very much guys. Yeah, we've got a patrons only um, live chat coming up. So, uh, yeah, become a patron, jump on board and uh, join in the fun. Yeah, that patron live chat is happening within the next week, so get on board and uh, get in with the fun. So please subscribe guys if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Only 18% of our viewers are actually subscribed to our channels and we're trying to hit the 10,000 mark so it would really help us grow. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Rightio, we've got to get going. Catch uh, you next week. Have a great week. See you, guys.